Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jane and I film on food, travel and lifestyle videos and you are most welcome to my channel. Wait, are you recording? Okay. Uh, you're there. Oh my goodness. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jane and I film on food, travel and lifestyle just in case you're seeing my face for the very first time. And yeah, today I'm going to be doing a story time for you guys on how, you know, I got into One Chance. Black Juju, basically, if you don't know what One Chance is, we call it like Black Juju in Nigeria. And I decided to talk about it because you guys love my story times like... Ah, I am so happy that you guys love it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Please subscribe. Encourage me by subscribing to my channel and hit the bell beside it to get inside of my future videos. So yeah, today we're going to talk about the black juju, how it happened. Did they do me like this? Or, or how did it happen? You guys, I've experienced black juju twice, but I'm going to be sharing just this particular one because the other one that I experienced is quite a little bit private. It's not private, but then I mean, I just don't want to talk about it. So let me just tell you guys what happened in this particular one. So this was around 3 p.m. No, it was around 3.30 p.m. in the afternoon. And then my brother had called in because he used to school in Lagos. So he had called in and he's like, oh, he needed 10K urgently, 10K Naira. Like, it was so urgent that if you don't send it right now, blah, blah, blah. To be honest, I don't know what he needed the money for or what the money was for. But then my mom just randomly called me and she's like, ma, ma, ma. If you don't know, my mom is calling me ma. So um, she's like, ma, 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 please hurry up. Go and send this 10,000 Naira to my brother. And I'm like, okay, send me the account number and everything. And then I left the house. This was happening like around 3.30, 3.45. The bank closes by 4 p.m. My house is not so far from the bank. It's about 20 minutes walk, give or take. So, okay, now this is it. In my estate where I live, everybody knows. I don't talk to people. In fact, they see me as that proud girl you know that kind of thing i don't talk people i don't date people in my area i am very very reserved okay <laughs> that word reserved maybe to them <laughs> i'm actually reserved a little bit uh, so i don't talk to them i don't you know mingle with guys in my environment or anything like that that day like normally i get advances in the area but on that day, I was not having it because first of all, I wanted to go and sleep before my mother told me to go and send money to my brother, okay? So I wasn't even having it. So I wore this tight jean, trousers. I had my Blackberry Z10, I think. Yeah, I had my Blackberry Z10 in my hand. Was it Z10 I was using at that time? No, I wasn't using Z10 yet. I was using one techno phone like that. So I had my techno phone in my hand. I put the 10,000 naira that my mom gave me in my right pocket and I put my other small phone. In Nigeria, and you already know this, you always have two phones, your browsing phone and your Nokia touch phone. So, you know, power failure and all of those things. So I had my Nokia phone in my left pocket and I wore this very tight jean, guys. When I mean very tight, like as I was walking, the money was choking my skin. My phone was choking my skin. So there is no how you, you know, something will lose and I will not feel it. So I was just walking there on my own and I know for sure that I did not open my mouth and greet any single person from the time that I left my mother's sight till when the incident happened. I did not say hello to anybody or good afternoon to anybody I was working on my own so now this is what happened there is a place at my junction where we have the everyday supermarket it's like a small mall kind of you know so at that spot there some guy I don't know him from anywhere came and touched me like forget how far 
that kind of thing like frying gear that kind of thing like and then he used his hanky to touch me just for me to walk like a few inches like one two i realized that the money was not tricking me again it was only my phone that was tricking me i was like ah what happened like what just happened right now oh my they did not do you now the first wake on my head i said jay did not see you <laughs> Immediately, I turned, like, I looked at the girl, I was like, give me my money. Like, I just started looking for trouble. I said, give me my money. I don't want to know you. Now you call me my money. Give me my money. Now you touch me. Nobody just touch me since I come off from my mama's side. Now you touch me. Give me my thank you. Give me my thank you. I became rad. Now, a lot of people that know me in that area was like, no be best and sister, they fight for them. No be best and sister, they fight for them. That's my brother, yeah? So, everybody's like, so everybody's like putting the soap, putting the soap, you know, jungle justice, all those kind of things. Everybody now gathered, like, what's happening? I told them that this guy touched me and my money went missing. Thank you, Nera. I don't know how he did it, but me, I want my money back. Now, they gathered him. By this time, they went to go and call my mother from the house. Somebody that saw me. I have never fought on the streets before or had any argument with anybody. Since the time that they gave birth to me in that vicinity, I have never quarreled with anybody, had any fight with anybody whatsoever. So weird that people saw me fighting, okay? So everybody came like to my rescue, like what's happening here, best sister, what's happening. At this point, a lot of people don't even know my name. They just know me as my brother's sister. They don't know my name. So they're like, oh, what happened here, blah, blah. So I told them that this guy touched me and my money went missing. So they started attacking the guy, guy, you move me and the money, you go bring out the money, you go bring out the They had to like go and call my mother. Like, <laughs> they had to go and call my mother. Guys, ignore the dogs that are barking, they're just mad. And then like she came with my uncle and stuff and they asked me what happened. I told them that this guy had just taken my money and stuff like that. So they had to like start, you know, telling the guy to bring back the money. Guys, this guy literally did black, you do dear and dear, thank you, that went missing from my pocket came out like really what the hell he should got arrested and everything like just ended you know i'm just like how do you people like people are so jobless that all they want to do is just sit and take people's money they don't want to work for their own money they don't want to like you know go and fetch for themselves they just want to swing those people's money through black to do I've been hearing of Black Juju being existence and all that, but when it happened to me, that was when I knew that this thing actually exists. It does exist. Guys, I'm, I think I'm going to end this video because this does seems to like, you know, be crazy at this moment. I was just so scared. I ended up not sending money to my brother. We had to send him money like the next day. So it's just, just like, it was just so crazy. Like, I mean, that was one experience that was the only time people saw me fight on the streets for anything a lot of people now knew my name they were not calling me you know stuff like that and then and i realized that you know you just have to know somebody that knows somebody your brothers have to connect like just imagine if my brother didn't used to bond with those street people or anything i probably you know they probably won't come to my aid everybody has just been like you know that proud girl just let her be you know then i realized that i need to like really start talking to people that live around me i start making friends not like friends friends but i still like really talking to a few people and yeah that was how i started bonding with people yeah guys i don't know what's wrong with this dog it just seemed to be backing today but then i feel like i should just end the video with I just feel like I should end this video here for you guys because this dog doesn't seem to shut up anytime soon. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I'm sorry about the dog. Please forgive me. Forgive me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, bye.